On this episode of Cox Connections, since 1966, the Virginia Cable Telecommunications Association has kept the public, business community, and state officials informed on issues affecting the industry. Today, the VCTA joins us to discuss the matters that are currently making an impact on your cable and telecommunication services. With service to more than 250,000 people throughout southeastern Virginia, Virginia Natural Gas prides itself on its outstanding customer service as well as being a strong corporate citizen. Learn about how this company is giving back to the communities it serves as well as helping Hampton Roads residents save money on their energy costs. Every year, Inside Business releases its best places to work, honoring local companies that show they value their most important asset, their employees. Find out who made this year's list and learn what your company can do to raise its overall performance and the engagement level of your employees. Stay tuned, Cox Connections is next. Hello and welcome to Cox Connections. I'm your host, Gary McCollum, Senior Vice President and General Manager for Cox Hampton Roads. The Virginia Cable Telecommunications Association not only provides critical information on issues that affect the cable industry, but the VCTA also works to give back to the community. For over a decade, the VCTA's Future Leadership Scholarship Program has provided financial assistance to outstanding young students in order to help them achieve their educational goals. My name is Shaylin Wade and I graduated from Norby High School class of 2011. Now that I graduated from high school I feel achieved and accomplished and that 12 years is a long way and I can actually go somewhere with it. I learned about the VCTA scholarship through my mom um, from her job Cox Communications and I wrote about becoming a future leader by helping others and volunteering. I received $1,000 and it means a lot to me because I can actually go to college and pursue my career. I'm going to TCC and I plan to study interior design. If I could do anything in the world, I would love to help others by designing their houses and be on HGTV. I think it's important to go to college because I can actually pursue my dream and get far in life. VCTA President Ray Lemire joins me now to tell us about the Future Leadership Scholarship Program and how the VCTA is making a positive impact throughout the community. Ray, welcome to the show. Thanks for having me, Gary. So the Future Leadership Scholarship Program, give me a little bit of the history and, and why is this important for the VCTA? Sure. Uh, one of our founding members, Donald A. Perry, uh, came to our board of directors and said, I would like to uh, give back to the community and I'm willing to uh, invest some of my uh, resources from my foundation and partner with the uh, cable industry throughout Virginia to craft a Future Leaders Scholarship Program. Uh, that was over 12 years ago, and it's still going strong. Still going strong. What makes it unique? One of the thing that, things that makes it most unique is that we're focusing on the leadership element. Uh, there are other scholarships out there just for your great grades um, uh, here and there, but we're looking at a number of factors, um, and grades is not the only thing. So these kids are giving back to the community, they're volunteering, they're, they're, they're providing leadership in our communities. Exactly right. And I have to say, um, I am... Uh, pleasantly surprised every year as we review these scholarships. Uh, I think our future is, is, is in good hands. Pretty bright. How many recipients did we have this year? This year we had over 50 recipients. And, and total amount of money awarded, I guess, this year and this throughout year, the program? Uh, this year we awarded $50,000. $50,000. But in the last 12 years, we've awarded over $800,000. $800,000. What a, what a great investment in our young people really and for, the, for our future leaders. Exactly. Uh, so again, how do you choose the recipients? What well, are some of the criteria? What we're looking at is, first we ask them to complete an essay um, on why you want to be a future leader. And that's really the first thing that our review committee reads before we even look at anything else. We want to kind of see the elements that they're putting in place uh, to say that they're a future leader. After that, then we look at uh, grades and extracurricular activity. Yeah. Um, so it's a it's a combination of factors. So you don't have to be uh, a stellar the rocket science student to get a scholarship. But this is really about leadership. Those are the traits that you're looking for. Yes. This, these kids are going to make a difference in whatever field they end up pursuing. Exactly right. Well, congratulations on a great program. Let me uh, uh, turn the topic to uh, broadband deployment here in Virginia. Uh, first off, what is broadband and what are the benefits of broadband? Well, broadband is really our internet connections. Um, and what we are uh, trying to do with broadband is get it to more rural parts of Virginia uh, and to those parts of the communities that aren't even taking the service right now. 
uh, this is a powerful tool. I first you used to refer to it as the what the railroad was in the 1800s. Mm. It is so much more than that today, uh, especially in this climate and in this economy. Uh, people can get a job at their kitchen table. Yeah. Uh, their kids can get an education from their bedroom. Uh, their parents can have uh, doctor visits uh, viewed at home or at a nearby clinic by some of the greatest doctors in the world through telemedicine. And so what are some of the, the barriers that as an industry, uh, the VCTA and its uh, member partners, what are they facing uh, in terms of getting broadband deployed yeah. throughout the Commonwealth? It's a, it's a tri tricky topic. Um, one of the issues that we are working on right now is the expense associated with simply attaching to a utility pole. Uh, for, uh, companies like Dominion and American Electric Power, they have a formula that the FCC uses to make sure that their costs are covered, and we want to make sure costs are covered. Uh, unfortunately, electric cooperatives don't have to use this formula, and they're not subject to anyone looking over their shoulder to see what's the rate they're charging. In, in some parts of the Commonwealth, there are these cooperatives that yes. provide uh, power. power. Those, uh, in fact, they're the second largest, if you combine them all together, they're the second largest provider in the state. And so, again, it's not the issue that they're charging, but you're saying that there, there is no formula, I guess? There's or? no formula that they use, and they're charging not only three, four, but up to ten times more than what Dominion's able to charge today. Right, and, and clearly that's a, that becomes a barrier. It puts the, the brakes on business decisions to deploy broadband. Well, we only have two minutes left, and we're going to have to have you come back, but I want to turn to another topic, and that is the, the issue of, of digging. This is the time of year when a lot of people are digging. Exactly uh, right. I know there's a program that the VCTA, uh, the CARE program. Talk a little bit about that. Sure. Uh, the VCTA partners with the State Corporation Commission and the uh, digging safety uh, experts that they have there. Uh, this is the time of year uh, when folks are starting to uh, you know, plant new things in, in around their neighborhoods and in their homes and in their yards. And it's very, very scary if you stick that shovel in the ground and you start hitting. hitting. I think we have a graphic up now. There's, a, I guess, the CARE acronym. Yes. There, there's some advice you want to give to exactly those folks. Right. So uh, call 811 before you dig. That's the, really the first thing you want to uh, do. And they'll come out and market, allow them time to come out and market so the utilities have time to get out there. Follow the marks very carefully and then just be very careful when you're digging. Sometimes you may want even hand trench is what they call it. Yeah. But uh, it's, uh, you want to be careful. A power line is extremely dangerous, um, but you got your water lines and those things as well. We're just about out of time. I guess the final question, what message would you like to leave the Hampton Roads community in regard to the, the work of the VCTA? Uh, I think the, the members down here, uh, Cox Communications and uh, Charter Communications are outstanding corporate leaders and uh, the employees are extremely hardworking and we are proud to represent them. And uh, if there's anything that we can ever do to help local officials, we're here for that. Well, thank you for joining us today and your leadership of the VCTA. How would you like to put more money in your pocket by cutting down your energy costs? Virginia Natural Gas is here to tell you what you can do to save money. We'll be right back with more Cox Connections. <laughs>